Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see what happens in the stomach. So stomach expands. Stomach is like a bag which is capable of expansion. So as long as there is nothing inside it, it is like a small pouch. Now when you start putting things inside this pouch, it keeps on expanding. So it is capable of expansion but then yes again there is a limitation to its expansion. So as we keep eating food, our stomach keeps expanding to accommodate the food particles. And this expansion is possible due to the presence of muscular wall of the stomach. So the muscles actually expand and that's how it creates space for the food. Inside the stomach are present some specific enzymes which help in the process of digestion. And these enzymes are produced or secreted by the glands called gastric glands. And what are they? Pepsin enzymes, hydrochloric acid, mucus. These are some of the very important things which are present inside the stomach and which play a significant role in the process of digestion. So basically what happens is this hydrochloric acid that is HCl which is present in the stomach this acid plays a very important role. Now one function that it performs is that the food which we eat that might contain some tiny germs or some impurities so they get destroyed by the action of this acid so that is one function which it performs the other function is that this hydrochloric acid actually activates the enzyme pepsin now this enzyme pepsin how it helps it helps in the digestion of proteins it helps to break down proteins into simpler forms like how you had uh, the salivary amylase inside the mouth which breaks down the complex carbohydrates into simple carbohydrates. Similarly, here in the stomach, the complex proteins are broken down into their simplest forms. So that is done by this enzyme pepsin. And this enzyme pepsin becomes active only in presence of hydrochloric acid. Otherwise, this pepsin is present in the form of pepsinogen. So it is actually present in the form of pepsinogen and this pepsinogen is inactive, it is not active. So how it becomes active? It, it becomes active in acidic environment and this acidic environment is created due to the presence of HCl. And in acidic environment, pepsinogen gets converted into pepsin and pepsin is an active enzyme. And what does pepsin do? Pepsin helps to convert the complex proteins which are present inside our food into simpler proteins or less complex proteins. So what are those less complex proteins? Maybe proteases or peptones. So they are less complex. Right? So this happens in presence of this enzyme pepsin. So that is the role of pepsin and hydrochloric acid. Now what about this mucus? Now the small amount of mucus which is present, mucus is a slimy substance, slippery like substance. So mucus provides protection. Protection to whom? Now as you saw that since stomach contains so much of acid, it contains a lot of hydrochloric acid. So the entire environment inside the stomach is acidic which is favorable for the action of pepsin. But the gastric juice is so strong that it can digest the stomach itself. Now under such acidic environment when you have uh, active enzymes like pepsin it is also possible that the digestion becomes so strong that the stomach itself gets digested. Because all our body parts they are also made up of what? They are also made up of amino acids. They are also made up of proteins. So therefore, in order to protect the stomach from being digested, these mucus are present. So mucus lubricates and protects the epithelium layer of the stomach. So out, out, this layer of the stomach is surrounded by mucus which actually helps in protecting the stomach. So it also lubricates the surface of the stomach so that the food which gets digested here can further move down to the next part. So, so here you see that in stomach a good amount of digestion happens here. So we saw that digestion of carbohydrates take place in the mouth with the help of salivary amylase. 
digestion of proteins takes place in the stomach with the help of pepsin and hydrochloric acid now that's why have you ever heard of people complaining of acidity people say that i'm having pain in my stomach why because i ate something which was too oily or i ate something uh, outside or some junk and that's why i'm getting acidity so what is this meaning of acidity when the amount of hydrochloric acid in the stomach increases too much then comes the problem of acidity so how do you solve that problem by taking some antacid tablets so when you take the antacid tablets so the antacid tablet is like they act just opposite to acid so they try to reduce the acidic environment of the stomach and that's how they resolve the problem so that's about what happens in the stomach so in stomach digestion happens with the help of gastric enzymes so all these enzymes which are released from the gastric glands they are called gastric enzymes thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again